Hey everyone! Hey guys! How's it going? If you're watching this on replay, please fast forward to the four minute mark. We're going to wait three minutes and 15 seconds for everybody to arrive, but let us know if you can see us okay, if you can hear us okay. Guys, we have a very exciting episode today. Um, we got some awesome guests that are going to be on. So let us know. Hi, Barbara. How's it going? Good to see you on. We got Samantha. Hi, Samantha from Michigan. Nice to see you on. Uh, Jacqueline Gardner. Uh, leave down in the comments below. Let us know or leave in the live chat. Let us know where you are watching from. Roll call. Will, how's the weather there in Maryland right now? It's actually a beautiful day here. It's not too hot. Oh, wow. It's too cold. Um, we had a bad storm roll through yesterday. Yeah. You know, more north than Annapolis and stuff. They got hit really hard, but it just cooled things down a lot here. So it, it's beautiful here. Yeah. Did you hear that Annapolis got hit with a uh, tornado? Yeah. It's, it's pretty bad. Crazy. They were hit pretty hard. Crazy, crazy. <clears throat> Oops. Hang on a second. Let me exit this. So we got people from Washington. Up, oh, Greg. Oh, that's Greg. Hi, Greg. <laughs> Gambrose, Maryland. That's Greg from Leo's Vacation Center. Hi, Greg. Hi, Greg. Shout out to Leo's Vacation Center. And if there's no way, there's two Greg M's from right. Gambrose, Gambrose, Maryland. Yeah. Right. Um, so speaking of Maryland, there is going to be the Maryland RV show the same week as the mm -hmm. Hershey RV mm -hmm. show. So if you like, if you live in Maryland or around Maryland and you want the same show pricing just without the huge crowds, make sure you guys check out the uh, Maryland RV show the same weekend. Kansas, we met you in Wyoming. Yep, I remember you, Dan. Fort Myers, Florida. I'm probably going to be going down to Fort Myers on Saturday. Right. Um, the Film Summit Grisenis. Uh, I talked to Patrick earlier today. Lee Va Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania. I hope to see you at the uh, Hershey RV show. Okay. Man, we only got 49 people. Crazy. That's crazy. You, you, you know why, Will? Why? Because um, I just published a video at 7 o'clock. Oh. So, I, and I was a little worried about that, but we will be A-OK. -okay. Ryan Davis, you're my biggest fan, 16 years old. What's going <laughs> on, Ryan? Thank you for watching. Jacqueline is going to Hershey. We got Rick and Darcy. Howdy, y'all. And hey, listen, I don't care if there's only 60 people. I don't care if there's six people or 6,000 people. We're doing the show. That's right. And um, yeah, we know more people are going to trickle in. And they're just going to miss it live. They're going to have to watch it on the replay. So we're going to be starting in about 20 seconds. Yep, people are certainly trickling in. Perfect. We got people watching from all over the country. Look at this. Wow. We got people from all over the world watching from Wales, Europe. Okay. You ready, Will? Oh, yeah. hang on. I got to take that down. I got something. You ready? Uh-huh. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt. That guy. Oops. I'm going to restart it. You ready? <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Matt. He's Will, and we are the RV Insiders. RV Insider Podcast is sponsored by RVShare.com. They're the peer-to-peer -peer RV rental place. So if you're looking to buy an RV and you want to rent one out first, great. Go to RV Share and you can actually rent out the make and model that you're looking at. Or if you own an RV, you can rent it out while you're not using it. Big shout out to RVShare.com. They're the best rental company for all RVs. Book your RV today at RVShare.com. How's it going, everyone? I'm Matt, and that's Will. And uh, how do you guys like our name? Welcome to episode three of our podcast, which we finally got a name, Will. What is the name that we decided on? The RV Insiders Podcast. Yes, we do have a poll in the chat section. Let us know if you like that name. Leave a comment down below. Let us know if you like that name or if you don't like that name. What's really funny is on episode number one, we had questions. We were like, hey, we right. need help. And right. uh, we we were giving away a $250 um, 
lifetime membership to campgroundviews.com, which we do have a winner. What's really funny is, Will, why don't you tell everybody who won? It was Jen, wasn't it? It was Jen. Yeah. Jen actually, <laughs> I always knew Jen was more talented than Will. Not trying to be mean, Will, but she is more talented. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> and um, she actually came up with the name RV Insiders, but there was also one other person who came up with that name. Oh, okay. So we are going to give them the prize, and then we're going to jump into segment one, which is breaking news. Segment oh. two of the show, guys, we have our friends Sean and Christina from Pause for Love. They will be coming in on um, – segment two and then as you guys know segment three we're going to be wrapping up the whole podcast with q a yep. so first the winner is john will how do i say this guy's last name i no clue <laughs> velosis john yeah. john john v is the winner john please send us an email matt's rv reviews at gmail.com and uh we will set you up with a free lifetime membership to campgroundviews.com yep. Great, Will. It's now time for breaking news around the RV industry. You ready? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so first breaking news is a research firm sees driving outlawed by 2050. Seriously? Seriously? <laughs> Will, what's your two cents on that? It sounds crazy. It's so crazy, but it, it, you know, you have to read the whole article, which I haven't done yet, full disclosure. But it's like, do they mean it's going to be more like the Tesla thing where you're still behind the wheel, but you know, it's kind of driving itself? No. So I did read the whole article. Okay. And what they're saying is by the year 2040, the autonomous driving is going to be at 100% accident free. Wow. So they're saying outlaw is going to be. Done by 2050. Does this mean we're going to be in, unemployed by the year 2050? Probably. <laughs> okay. No no more. See, I, I, I see this being okay with motorhomes. I, I see um travel trailers and fifth wheels right. uh, going away. So Matt and Andre still have a job. Will from Matt Servier's <laughs> Tobles. You're, you're going to need to find work when you're 60-something years old. Yeah, exactly. Article story number two. This is KZRV, Will. They cool. marked the milestone of the Sportsman 50th Anniversary Edition. How exciting is that? Yeah, that is pretty exciting. We don't do a lot of KZ reviews yet. Yes, yes. No, awesome. that's the exciting part. Right. Um, KZ, they do sell them now at Leo's Vacation Center. Right. And we are going to be having reviews of KZ now that we are 100% independent. Right. And we will be featuring them uh, this year when we go to the Hershey RV Show. Cool. Next story, Will. RV shipments projected to reach 600,000 units in 2022. That's Does crazy. that mean we're not losing our jobs next year? <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. So, well, let me break it down to you this way. Each year, each year, it's always about four to 500,000 RVs. For right. 2022, they're predicting 600,000. What's your take on that? It just shows the market is not slowing down. And, you know, RV shipping has been a, one of the holdups as well. You know, when people are waiting on, on their units and everything, you know, there's only so many drivers to go around. Um, and, you know, freight's been going up to give more incentive to these drivers and everything. But yeah, I mean, it, it's just crazy that, you know, the market, just it's just not slowing down. It's crazy. Right. Well, I'm almost calling, I'm almost calling like, you know how all the young kids are saying fact or cap? I'm calling cap on that. I don't think they will ship 600,000 RVs. Right. Believe me, they will sell 600,000 RVs. Right. I just don't see them having the manpower of actually delivering I know. that money to the dealerships. That's yeah. a lot of RVs. It is, yeah. Next story, Will. Liquid Spring introduces revolutionary four-corner suspension upgrade for gas motorhomes. Yes. Thank you to RV Pro for this article. Yes. So sorry. Hang on a second. Thank you to RV Business for the first three articles and RV Pro for this article. Now, Will, this isn't breaking, breaking news, is it? Right. Nope. They've had it. Yes. Yeah, what is exciting is... 
Uh, you can get the two-point liquid springs on the Tiffin Motorhomes and the four-point liquid springs on the Holiday Rambler Fleetwood Motorhomes. Right. And if you guys didn't see the video, Will and Jen actually test drove a motorhome yeah. with liquid springs. And, Will, I have a great idea. You know what that idea is? What? We should, at the um, Hershey RV show, we should get with Wayne Wells and uh -huh. do a video kind of asking questions about the two point and the four point because yeah, the difference i do like four over the number two but the two point is significantly cheaper than the four it point is. so yeah. it's kind of like i, I really want to know what the differences are because i know ever since we did that video people are loving liquid spring yeah for sure next article will we got three more articles to go okay RV Startup Encore to unveil its new product at Open House Week. Burr, 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 burr. So that is super exciting because, Will, where are we going the week after the Hershey Show? Well, I think the week after the Hershey Show, we have a little break. But the week after that, we're going to Open House. We certainly are. And uh, the, the main guy behind this is Rich Snipple, who Mr. Snipple is actually a friend of mine. Is and he? he, yep, he he was the brain operations behind Intech RV, oh, which has been okay. killing it. Oh, so yeah. it's going to be really exciting to see that. And guys, listen, make sure you're subscribing if you're not, because we're going to bring that to you live first mm -hmm. on Matt's RV Reviews. Yep. The same way we brought the Luna to everybody first. Right. Next story, Will. Exclusive. Winnebago extends accessible access with type b so what they're meaning is they're making it wheelchair friendly class b motorhomes nice that's cool. so as a salesman honestly speaking speaking my mind just the way that i think i find it very frustrating how many people who are in wheelchairs ask for class b rvs because nobody had anything out there and right. it was all like because they, they, they would look at the old conversion vans right. and they were wheelchair, but nobody had a class B. So it's definitely relieving knowing that Winnebago is stepping forward to make this, to bring it to the market. What say yeah, you? Sure. Yeah, no, you know, same boat as, as you. It's just, you know, the way class B's are designed right now, it's just, you know, I hate to say it, but it's very hard. It's, it's hard for me to get through. Right. You know, You're corn fed, Will. <laughs> let alone in a in a wheelchair or something so that's exciting that they're that they're working to appeal to that market perfect i love it and and that's one of the great listen i i, I talk a lot i'm a i'm a harsh critic to winnebago that is one thing that they do excel in in their motorhome field mm -hmm. final news yes, story sure. will store industries acquires major rv supplier they bought um Arcel, A I R X C E L. How do you say that word, Will? I don't know. Arcel yeah. for seven hundred and fifty million dollars. Well, crazy. It's crazy. Now, do you know who Arcel Industry is? I don't actually. Neither did I. But here's what I found out, Will. They own Suburban, Coleman okay. Mack, Aqua Hot, Max Air. MCD shades and die core products. That's, so, that's big names right there. Yeah, those are very big names. I yeah. was all like 750 million. Are you kidding me? But let, let me tell you something, folks. This is a big deal because so if Arcel or whoever was worth 750 million, that means they had a pretty good profit margin. Right. So now right. Thor Industries is going to keep that high profit margin for um, Winnebago's and Newmars uh -huh. and Fleetwoods and Bounders, right? Right. But they're going to cut that profit margin on the Thor motorhomes, right. i.e. Airstreams, right. Tiffins, Integras, Jayco's Thors. So right. that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, Thor just kind of getting a little competitive yeah, advantage. Sure. Yeah. Cool. So those are breaking right. stories from around the RV industry, guys. Cool. Make sure you stick around for part two because we will be meeting Sean and Christina.
from Pause for Love. But, Will, first, yeah. we're unemployed now. You know what that <laughs> means? What's that? It means we, we need to have a commercial break from our sponsors. Okay. Uh, because without our sponsors, we couldn't be bringing you the RV Insider. So yeah. here we go. The RV Insiders want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor, CampgroundViews.com. Campground Views does 360 digital tours, just like Google Earth does, but for campsites. Right now, they've partnered with Recreation.gov, so you can tour state and national parks. Not only that, you can find the spot with the best views, set your date parameters, and actually book that actual campsite. Big shout out to campgroundviews.com. We have an interview with the owner, Mark, that we linked down below. And we also have a special promotion by clicking our link down below, going to their website, you will be able to save a huge discount. Big shout out to campgroundviews.com. To sponsor our friends, My Waggle, which is an RV digital thermostat monitor that sends you alerts to your cell phone to let you know if it gets too hot or cold in your RV or if you lose power. If you bring your pets camping with you and, and you, you sometimes, sometimes leave, leave them, them in your, in your RV, RV, you are 100% going to want to get a My Waggle. It's the best, the way, best way, to way, to way to protect your, your fur baby. baby. We have we a 50% off promo, promo code promo right now right down in the down description the below or use promo code MATT50. All right, that was a little commercial break. <laughs> and with us is Sean and Christina from Pause for Love. What's up, Hi, Sean and Christina? Hello. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. So we're good. doing well. Where we're are good. you today? So we're coming to you from uh, the RV capital of the world, honestly, uh, in Goshen. And we're uh, at the Grand Design National Rally. We're having a nice, awesome time. nice. Yeah, it's our first so, year here, and we are below our first away. rally, our first RV yes. rally. Nothing Very like exciting. national rally to kick off all rallies. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, let's have a little introduction. Why don't you guys tell us who you guys are? Absolutely. Why don't you start that, and I'll get the start of the show up there. <laughs> okay, so we are Christina and Sean, and we actually have a three-year-old English cream golden retriever named Nash. We actually bonded with Matt because we both have English creams and Nash and Yuna are totally going to get married one day, but we, <laughs> there they are. They're Isn't so it? cute. Um, but we actually got Nash trained and certified as a therapy dog in fall of 2019, started serving with him and volunteering in schools, after school programs, fire stations, police stations. And honestly, we just fell in love with it. We love Nash and getting to share him with, you can hear him snorting for treats <laughs> over here. Um, but we just love sharing him with people. He is like our greatest joy and he is hilarious. So getting to volunteer with him was so fun. Fast forward, COVID happened. We were all stuck at home and Sean and I just were thinking, what can we do? And we'd always fantasized about the RV thing and we're like well what if and very long story short we ended up selling 90 percent of our stuff got our grand design rv which is why we're here at the rally um and hit the road on the pause for love tour and we go around and we have Nash, you're snoring <laughs> um we have gone around the whole honestly we've gone so many places this year for the pause for love tour and it has been incredible just to see people light up with him and we we just love it. So yeah, we share our journey on YouTube and Instagram and we just love it. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So one, first and foremost, congratulations because you guys are now Grand Design Ambassadors. We right? are. Yes. Yeah. What does that mean? Can you go a little bit into detail of what that means? Yeah, absolutely. So we're one of their goodwill ambassadors. Um, we're out, you know, volunteering with Nash and we're using our our beautiful grand design to do that. And it's giving us the power to be able to be flexible about where we're staying and not be limited to a hotel and all of those fun things. And so when we're out on the road, we love to show off this RV. So that's part of us being out on the road is talking about why we love Grand Design. Um, most people know they're known for their customer service. We had no idea. We totally lucked into this thing. We bought it yes. used and we're so thankful that we picked really well from the very beginning. Um, and as we've gotten to know the employees at Grand Design and just the teammates and you know everybody involved, it's such a family and being mm -hmm. here at the rally is, is just case in point to how close knit this group of people is. So it's cool because we get to connect with people on the road and, you know, we've got that common bond of, of grand design. And uh, we even have across from us as someone that has the same floor plan as us. So you get to, 
you know, have a have a depth of relationship that you wouldn't otherwise, which is just really cool. Yeah, great. So they might have the same floor plan as you, but they don't have the exact same grand design as you. <laughs> that uh, is true. Let me uh, throw it up here on the screen here. Look at that. There you go. What the heck's going on there? Yeah, so we had our, uh, our family in Clarion, Iowa, owns a, a printing company, and they decided to surprise us and wrap this RV. And it's got Nash's silhouette on it. It's got our logo. Mm -hmm. And so when you see this thing coming down the freeway, you can't miss us. What we have <laughs> loved so much this year, too, is when you go through like a toll road and they send you a like your toll. Yeah. On the picture. And like when they the take a picture of you, you can just see the back of the His RV. And it's just <laughs> it's so cute. Just Nash. That is so, so funny. Yeah, you can't miss us. <laughs> so how did you guys come up with the name pause for love actually that was you yeah. actually yes so we actually well, very long story short we actually own a dog treat company in the in the mix of covid and trying to figure out what we were going to do with nash we launched a single ingredient freeze-dried dog treat company named nashies <laughs> and to fill our time, uh, we were doing events all over Nashville, Tennessee, which is where we lived. I mean, we were partnering with coffee shops, local businesses, yep. apartments, apartments any, any way we could drive people to a small business, we were partnering with them to mm -hmm. do that. So we would do yappy hours or, you know, doggy play dates or something. And we partnered with a coffee shop and we named the day Pause, pause for, for love. love, like our Pause for oh, Love cool. event. And we kind of just played off of that. Yeah. And it was, <laughs> it just felt right. Yeah. And it was really meant, yeah. you know, it's kind of a play on words with the PAWS and then yeah. the hitting the pause button of just like, hey, mm -hmm. the world's crazy. It's mm -hmm. been crazy. It's just got amplified because of everything going on. But let's just take a beat, you know, hit the pause button and realize what's important, allow a dog to come up and, you know, say hi and pet him for a few seconds and just put a smile on your face. Nice. You know, I'm so glad you said that because it's almost like we planned it this way. <laughs> but that, that kind of segues into my next question. How simple is the concept of a therapy dog, but yet impactful is it to the communities that you go to? Yeah, I mean, you know, the reality is every dog can be a therapy dog. And not all dogs are meant to be like a full blown therapy, like for what we're doing, but I'll explain that. So you, you can have an impact on anybody, whether it's your neighbor, whether you're driving 5,000 miles, wherever to go see somebody, you can have your dog with you. And that's usually as long as they're not going crazy, a, a, a barrier that can be broken mm -hmm. pretty quickly. You know, that's the icebreaker, whatever you want to call it. And then that a lot. And we always say that Nash is the gimmick. Like we love Nash. Everybody loves Nash, but he's, the gimmick of what we're doing because all it does is it breaks that ice and allows us to have a conversation with someone about their day about whatever's going on in their life you know and it's just really it doesn't have to be over complicated it's just just go talk to people you know everybody's struggling with something you never know what it is and it's just a simple conversation can make somebody's day yeah no i love that i i i really do love that and actually um you know how we met is because we both have english cream golden retrievers <laughs> Oh, uh, you know, know, right there. You know. Oh, yep. She's doing her own thing right now. <laughs> but like, uh, that's actually how we connected. And uh, we had an event together that mm -hmm. both Will and I and you guys were. And we all got to meet. It was at the Cabana Club. Tell everybody a little bit about, like, what we did and how cool it was and how fun it was. Well, if you know us, you know that we absolutely love Cabana Club. <laughs> We talk yes. about it all the time. Oh, yeah. We love it there. We, uh, the, the family there, they're just wonderful people. So we fell in love with it. Everything about Cabana Club is over the top. There's so much to do if you're a family, if you just have a dog, if you're a couple. So yeah, when we started talking with Matt about coming to Florida, Cabana Club just felt like the right place. And we put together an amazing weekend filled with camping and people brought their dogs. Mm -hmm. Some and music. It, Oh, it was so good. We really hope to replicate that again. We could potentially do a golden retriever meetup at Cabana Club. That would be that pretty amazing. I'm planned. just saying. I'm just saying. So fun. Hey, they have rallies for all kinds of stuff. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> the golden retriever. 
I mean, I'm curious if anybody would come to that because yeah. golden retriever owners are obsessed with their goldens. But so, yeah, that's what we did. Yeah. Not 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 just golden retriever owners. So Will and Jen also have a golden retriever named yeah. Tucker. They you do. want to show? Those you can bring them on the screen, Will. I can't. No? If we cooperate. Come, come here. on, come on, Tucker. <laughs> you can do it. Come here. Come here. Come say hi. There we oh, go. Oh, there's Tucker right there. Hello, Tucker. Mm -hmm. Hey, yes. buddy. Look at him. He's a lover. Look at that. He is. Oh, now, he's my baby. now, what really drew me to Sean and Christina was they didn't have a golden retriever. They had an English cream oh, golden retriever. <laughs> yep. I got some great photos to come up. But while we were there, I took uh, some video. This is never before seen video of our event from um, the Paws. This is part of the Paws for Love tour. Yeah. And us meeting and there's also another english cream golden retriever mm -hmm. duncan who is owned by dave cantrell and you guys know dave cantrell as the um rv inspector that we've had on the show let's check out this little footage you know get some treats Yuna, she's like daddy oh, where she are is you what? Yeah. Daddy, no. No. Uh -huh. oh yeah i'll take one thank you you know, get a treat. Nope, oh, there. No lies, no lies. Poor you. So there, there, there was Yuna, Nash, and Duncan fighting over some Nashy treats. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. <laughs> so, uh, Will, what question do you have for Sean and Christina? Okay, um, I have. So it's going to be kind of like a two-part. Number one, how long have you guys been full timing for? And in that period. Um, what's been your favorite campground and national park? So that's a three-part question, Will. Yeah, it's a three-part. <laughs> three You're hitting him with the, the triple dunk right there. I like right? it. <laughs> so we started full-timing Veterans Day of 2020. So that's November, November 11th. Yeah. And that's when we left Nashville and we didn't look back. Um, cool. And we love it. I, I honestly think we'll be doing this for quite a while. Um, it's been absolutely incredible. Um, I'll answer the park or I'll do the state park. You do the park, the best RV park. Cause we've had, we've had some really good ones along the way. You tell yeah. us, tell, we, we want to know. Go ahead. You are, you are going to no, go I was going to do the state park. Okay. But I'll do it after. Okay. We've already said our favorite park, which is Cabana club. Hands down. <laughs> so great. Um, do you have a favorite RV park? Uh, it it well, really, well, hang on a second. It really is a great, resort it's yeah, located right. right in between tampa and orlando and it's just like when 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 i go to campgrounds i always sit there and think to myself how would i run this campground and they literally did it this not saying that my way is the best way but in my head they literally <laughs> ran it the same way that i would have ran my campground yeah, yeah. It's so clean and so much to do like you guys said it really is great. A great oh, yeah, it, it's and I think you know part of that is yes, they have all the amenities and yes, all that's fantastic. Right. But from they're looking at it from a lens of this is a hospitality mm -hmm. play, it's not just a real estate play. And it's not hey, right. we're just going to make you know however much per night and just turn and burn. Right. Like you feel like family when you go there, and we've had some other parks like that. And so that's where I would say one of my favorites was early on in the tour. Um, which was in January when we were in Houston. I was and, hoping he would yeah, say this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little park. I don't even know how many spaces they have. It can't be more than 70, maybe 80. It's small. Um, but it's called Rayford Crossing, and it's in Spring, Texas. Um, and it's a very close-knit little community. They do Sunday potluck dinners every or every Sunday. They call them family dinners. Family dinner. And oh, I just, love that. Yeah, yeah it, just, it was such a sense of community. And they warned us. They were As soon as we went there, they were like, you're not going to find another park like this around the country. <laughs> and I love we, that. We have found some, like, you know, you have to kind of make your own community when you're traveling mm -hmm. like this. But um, I would say from a state park standpoint, we haven't really done any yet. And I okay. know that's like kind of interesting for, but um, with, and I've seen some comments on here about the perfect size for state parks. You know, we're in a 38 foot travel trailer. Yeah. You have a big travel trailer. Yeah. Which is, I mean, like it should probably be a fifth wheel because of how long it is. Right. <laughs> um, but it does tow well. And, and we have a really good uh, hitch setup that allows us to make sure we're not swaying, you know, cool. like crazy. Right. So, 
Um, yeah, it's been tough. We've we've tried to get in some places, but between availability issues and then just how long we are, we just yeah. kind of said, hey, for year one at least, let's let's not try and kill ourselves on you know right. going for everything. Yes. Well, and I will say too, if I feel like this year, if I will set this disclaimer, if anybody has ever said I'm going to RV by myself with my family, whatever for a year, you get into it month one, month two, and you're like a year is not long mm -hmm. enough. So you're like, I have to do this longer or mm -hmm. you end up picking it up again. But we quickly realized that between, I mean, if, if, if anybody knows our story, I mean, we, like Sean said, we left our house November 11th, but we ended up getting our RV, getting our truck afterwards and getting out of our house within about 30 days. Wow. And we had been selling our stuff and, and doing those things prior. But when these dominoes fell, they fell very fast. Mm -hmm. So we, at one point, we were like, is this tour even going to happen? I don't know. So, um, so yeah, I just lost my train of thought, but <laughs> I had a point. I had a point. Just about full timing. Yes. I remember. We, <laughs> sorry, spaghetti brain. It's rally brain. Um, but we just got in here so quickly. We didn't have time to plan and mm -hmm. we needed to keep whatever we were going to do for the year as focused on the tour as possible. So we have missed out on more fun things that we would have done. Maybe if we were just traveling mm -hmm. right. That's also next year's for, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so real quick, speaking of your tour and selling stuff and responsibilities and, you know, the, your tour wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for a few sponsors, but, but one, one big one mainly. Who would that be? <laughs> yeah, that's Lipper. That's Lipper, yeah, yeah. our favorite people at our favorite place. Yeah. <laughs> Tell and, us a little bit more about your relationship with them. Yeah, so I got connected through a really close mutual friend to Jason Lipper and had the fortunate opportunity to share our heart. And at that time, it wasn't, I mean, it was it was a plan of like, hey, here's what we want to do. Um, but it wasn't like, it wasn't put into motion yet. So we then. Um, you know, we learned about Lippert because we had no idea who they were. Uh, we had no idea about a lot of RV stuff and didn't realize that a lot of things that make the RV up are made by Lippert. And so long story short, um, they said, hey, let's uh, let ground stays for the year and allow you guys to get out there and, and do what you're doing and volunteering. And they have an amazing program called Lippert Cares, uh, which is where they actually go out into their community and they not only give money financially to help Northern Indiana. And it, it even extends past that, but they give their time. And mm -hmm. as everybody watching this knows, like time is so hard to give yes, money. Yeah. Is easy. Like, yeah, yeah, you can, you know, give a dollar here to somebody or write a mm -hmm. big check or whatever. Um, but your time is, is really difficult. And they put their money where their mouth is with that. And I know since they've started that program, I think they've volunteered over 400,000 400, or 500,000 hours in the community. Wow. Yeah. Which is just insane. So, we, you know, we got to know them and um, they, they stepped up and allowed us to do this because it wouldn't have been possible without them. But, but very truthfully and, and transparently, you know, as we've gotten to know this company, it, it's not ironic that they're on the acquisition tear right now because of the way that they structured their people yes. and their process mm -hmm. and the, every single person that we have met inside this company. And we've toured plants mm -hmm. and have met a lot of the leaders in the company mm -hmm. you know, and just all kinds of people. And it is, it's real. And they mm -hmm. care about their people, man. They put their money where their mouth is on that. And what sure, I love sure. so much about them is they, like this started as a sponsorship and these people have become what feels like our family. Yeah. And wow. like we see, we see them today, like we got a, something called ground control, which is an auto leveling system. from For like a travel for, trailer. For a travel yeah, trailer, which, which a heads get. up, you can't yeah. get I yeah, know, it's we, people amazing. have been freaking out around here that have travel trailers because the tongue jack stays off the ground, <laughs> and people are like, "Hey, man, you're supposed to have that on the ground." <laughs> yeah, well, let me tell you about the ground control system. <laughs> anyway, so the ground control system, you can get it; it's great. But Jeremy, who installed our ground control system, drove by us earlier today, yeah, and afternoon. we got to sit and like chat with him for like I don't know, fifteen or twenty yeah. minutes, and it was like a few minutes about the tour or business yeah. and the rest was about just like catching up on personal stuff. Like that's because they care so much. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. No, they, they, they are a great company and they did make our breaking news last week 
with yeah. their acquisition of Furion, which yeah. is a huge player. Speaking of, we need to talk to them because uh, I want to buy the uh, Furion uh, mega bus with the helicopter pad <laughs> and the uh, jacuzzi tub in it. Yeah. I think it's insane. Yeah. <laughs> so um, here's what we're going to do. Uh, since this is our first podcast with sponsors, I accidentally did double ads. So we're supposed to have a commercial break right now, but I already did it. <laughs> so we're going to hop into segment three, which is the live Q&A. So if you guys have questions for me, if you guys have questions for Will, or if you guys have questions for Sean and Christina, <laughs> hashtag in the comments questions, and we're going to ask questions for you guys for the next three to five minutes. I do have a couple questions myself to ask you guys. Um, was there anybody famous that you might have met this weekend or this week at the um, Grand Design National Rally? Yes, we have been so fortunate. This was totally unplanned, but we are one rig away from Nate and Marissa with Lush Junk Ooh, Board. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So and it nice. looks like you all had a surprise party for them. <laughs> yes, if you see his really gorgeous crown that Hensley made him for his birthday, <laughs> it, is, it is just striking. It's beautiful. But yeah, we've gotten to meet so many families. That has been really great. We got to meet Corey and Jesse Nickerson from Finding Our Someday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we got to meet the Hanks with Happily Ever Hanks, Kyle and Renee. They are hilarious. So funny. Yep. Even got, funnier in person, honestly. Yes. Yeah, we were all hanging around the campfire last night, and it was just like ping pongs of jokes. Yeah. And I was like, this is so great. You think about this, and you're like, this is great. And then Keith and Rainey, they also have a YouTube channel. They are hilarious and awesome, too. I, we haven't been around a lot of YouTube. Nobody. Well, no. other than you, Matt, other than when we met you. Yeah. Dang right. Yeah. Dang right. You were our first, Matt. Yeah, you were. <laughs> But since then, I mean, that was February. Yeah. We haven't gotten a chance to meet anybody on the road. So that was so, so nice. And, it, you know, you you talk through your struggles and your joys and, like, ideas. And that's just really super fun. Well, and it's, it's cool. And we haven't even talked about this. But it's like, you know, it's not show business. It's not like you're so polished. No. And it's like <laughs> right. the people in the videos. And, and this was because, like, Matt was the first person we met. And then everybody here. Like, they're the same in person. It's literally identical. So it's kind of cool. You know, sometimes they want me, the manufacturers want, do want me to be a, a little more polished. But we just <laughs> roll on the cameras. If you guys, if you watch, actually, what's pretty funny is if when everybody's done with the live stream, if you watch tonight's video that uploaded on Matt's RV Reviews, oh, we did the whole review in the pouring rain. You know, that hey, we, every day, every day we, we come out with a review. So we do have some questions in, but first, um, I have some other pictures that I want to share with you guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh well, first, what, what what's your favorite national park that you've been to? Glacier, Glacier by far. I knew that from yeah. Instagram. Yeah, by far. <laughs> yeah, it was it was so breathtaking. Um, mm. Just you know, it was very smoky because of everything going on out, out that direction, which right. is very sad. We actually drove through an area on the east side of Flathead Lake that the road had been closed the whole time we were there. And then it opened up and it was, I mean, there were cars burned and houses yes. burned and it, it felt like you were driving through a movie set. It was so sad. Yeah. 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 That, that's the circle of the pattern or whatever that they burn and then it's good for them or whatever, supposedly. And then here's what else crazy. And then guys, we're going to answer your questions. You guys were at Sioux Falls. Yes. Like a That's week nice. after us. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and that was not we planned either. We didn't time that. <laughs> really well, we, so. I mean, you and I hadn't talked for, I don't know, a while. Six weeks, maybe. But No, yeah. no, no. Because I knew you were going there. Because remember, we were talking. But yeah, because we were going to try to plan it up. But it didn't because you went to Michigan or whatever. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. um, Will, yeah. I mean, tell everybody a, a little bit who, who doesn't know about your vlog. Well, Jen's vlog with uh, what we did. What, what national parks did we hit? Yeah, we so we did a whole road trip from Maryland to Wyoming, um, you know, kind of down to Colorado, back home to Maryland. Um, we hit Mount Rushmore, um, the Badlands, um, what is, oh, Devil's Tower. We hit a lot of national parks. Um, and we had a, such a great trip. It, it, it really was. 
a wonderful time. So we did that with Matt. Um, and that was on our vlog. It's just Will and Jen. So easy to easy to find. Yes, yes. Perfect. Sean and Christina and Nash, are you guys ready for some questions? Let's do it. First, glad you're feeling better, Will. <laughs> yes, I'm very glad too. <laughs> okay, this is from Greg M. Do you think this is Greg Merkel, Will, or no? I don't know. I don't know now that he asked a question. Right. <laughs> Big shout out to Leos. Greg M. wants to know, what are three to five key items for taking your dog on the road? That's a, such a good question. Yeah, I've got Can one. I answer one of them? Yeah, yes. do it. A no. my waggle. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Yes, but continue. But being able continue. to monitor your dog yeah. is the most important thing. So kind of like one above that is a strong internet connection because yes. that yeah. is – key yeah. for anything for controlling the air for controlling the cameras next up is like a my waggle or a nest camera or something mm -hmm. like that to be able to watch them and make sure that everything is running appropriately if you leave them which if i will just say this is a blanket statement we have a travel trailer and if something were to kick off electrically we have no way until the power comes back on and we can reset it from our phones we can't turn anything back on. We don't have a generator that kicks in. Right. So it's yeah. really important to be watching over your doggies if it's hot out. If it's yep. like cooler night, it doesn't matter so much. But internet, yep. a camera, yep. you can say yours. Okay. Are you? Was that two? That was combined. No, with okay. Mats. So that was one. So well, I still have ideas. Okay. So I really like, there's an elevated dog bed, which there's like a bunch of brands that make them. So just pick one. But it sits up off the ground and it's got mesh backing. So then like when Nash is laying outside, if it had just rained or something, he's not going to be soaking wet. It's just this elevated bed. And then he's got really good airflow through there as well. And it just keeps him, you know, there's a lot of gravel everywhere yeah. you go. So the yeah. most clean you can keep them is, is always a good thing. Yeah. One more dog shampoo <laughs> or driveway baths yeah. that need to happen mm -hmm. on impromptu moments. Yeah, like, and, they're, and they're favorite toy. Yeah. Like random mud that Nash finds every once in a while. Mm -hmm. I love Tonight. it. I love it. Yeah, tonight he was playing with a 120 pound Great Dane and he like yeah. face planted yeah. in the dirt. He got pile. a little dirty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Will, this question's going to be more for me and you. Hello from Wyoming. Our travel trailer is a total loss due to hail last week in oh. South Dakota. So sorry to hear that. Yes. Now looking for a new travel trailer. What's the best king bed couples large travel trailer? Will, fire them off. Um, well, anything Cougar is going to have a king bed. Yep. Um, a lot of the grand designs are going to have a king bed. Uh, not too good. many of the grand designs are doing king beds, Will. Oh, they're not? I thought they were now. Nope, nope. No. I'm pretty confident they're doing the kings. Okay. The east to west. Um, yep. Uh, what is it? Yep. The um, Alta or Della Terra or one of them yes. is doing the king yep. bed. I think king bed is standard. Yep. Um, what else? Those are the only big two. I think exactly. Prime Time's doing one with the Tracer. Okay. I'm not 100% sure, but I do know Cougar's the big one that yes. always does the king bed. Yes. Um, another question for Will. Did you lose your taste of smell and taste when you had COVID? Um, I lost my sense of smell for a little bit. Luckily, I didn't lose my sense of taste, which was good because I was really, really bad about eating. I lost 30 pounds. Um. So I was bad about eating anyway. So I think it was good that I had my taste because at least, you know, it was enjoyable to, yeah. to still eat. Dang, um, you lost 30 pounds? I need COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did lose my sense of smell for probably about a week. It came back pretty quick, though. So. Cool. Pause for love. Will you guys be at the Hershey show? Uh, we wanted to go so bad. Uh, Lipper is having their first ever rally in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, around the same time. So we're actually leaving here, going down through Indiana, spending a few days with some friends, and then going back home through Nashville to do some dentist appointments, and then we'll be over to Pigeon Forge. Awesome. Burr, 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 burr. Rick and Darcy, thanks so much for the super chat. <laughs> Will, will there be a shower sticker? Um, And Will testing the shower. I like all your stickers. Also, are all your stickers lick regular bumper stickers? I don't know what that means. But, Will, do you still have some sour test stickers? I have a couple left. Rick and Darcy, if you send me an email, Matt's RV Reviews, um, I'll, I'll have Will mail one to you. 
because because nobody bought them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, we, we were selling them for a limited time. Yeah. But um. Okay. Uh oh, are, are the bumper they, stickers for me? Really. Are they? I don't know. They're bumper stickers. Yeah. Uh, question. Matt, why do you refuse to tell your viewers the current sale price of RVs that your review prices are not clearly listed on RVs? There's absolutely no valid excuse not to. Well, I mean, Steve, there is a valid excuse, so I'm going to give one to you. <laughs> so, one, currently there is no – two two parts. One, I don't work for General. I don't work for RV1 or Gersenis or Lazy Days. I don't work for them anymore. So we have to be respectful of what they ask us to do. Right. Number two, we used to give sale prices when I was with General RV because a 2020 Integra Odyssey made in April cost the same amount as an Integra Odyssey 2020 made in December. The problem now, Steve, is that the unit made today – is cheaper than the unit that's going to be made three months from now. Mm -hmm. It's also 30% more than the right. unit that was made three months prior. So the market is so volatile mm -hmm. that what was happening was, I'll give a fake example. I had a unit that was a 2021 that I made right during the change and General RV was selling it for 76.9. Well, Unfortunately, if you ordered that RV, that was right when COVID happened, right? So if you ordered that RV or you bought it eight months later, when the demand went up like this and the supply of plywood and metals mm -hmm. and all this stuff, it now costs General RV more than that 76.9 for right. them to buy it. And they got to stay in business and everything. So, so that's just... It's just what it is. Here's what I will promise you, Steve. Um, I will promise you that when the market corrects itself and the prices aren't as volatile, uh, dealerships will be bringing back sale prices and we will be able to advertise it. Yep. Well, it is a different Greg. It from is a different Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Qu question for you guys. What organization trained Nash originally? I am so happy that Natalie, she's our new friend. She's at the rally. She, yeah, she's here. <laughs> um, I'm so happy she asked this. We are so passionate about talking about this. So passionate that we put a whole YouTube series together on our channel to talk about training therapy dogs. So we actually did like 90% of Nash's training, which I know it sounds crazy. Um, but a lot of it, I mean, I had so much time on my hands when we got Nash. So that was a great bonding experience for us. Um, but what I did was I taught him all of his basic commands and, in, in, you know, sit, stay, come, drop it. Um, but I also used the canine good citizen 10 steps that you um, are that their dogs are tested on. And I really based our training off of that. So I did like 90 percent of it. And then there was just a few things that I was really struggling to train Nash on. And I knew we wanted to go into the therapy dog world. And we actually started working with a local nonprofit in Nashville. And they have trainers that work directly in their organization. And they take care of training across the board. I mean, they have dogs that come to them with zero training. They have some dogs that come to them with much more like Nash. So they put the cherry on top of the Sunday they mm -hmm. called it. And uh <laughs> And yeah, so that that's kind of how it worked for us. But it's very different. Some some organizations, if you're working in a hospital or doing stuff in an airport, they're going to require a lot more uh, training, both dog and handler. Mm -hmm. Nice. Another qu question from Samantha. Uh, what type of dog toys do you have? Nash has all kinds. I'm actually looking at a bin. Of, <laughs> we, you know, huge. and a lot of people that full time will get this. One in, one out. It's not so, the case. For with his toys, is kind of the exception to the rule, but he loves playing tug. So anything with, with you know, like a length to it, kind of like a rope, those sort of things. Nice, nice. Okay, we're almost wrapping up here. Question, Matt, did you get – yes, thank you so much for the travel mugs. Um, I did see that Teespring does have them, so we will be adding them to our store very soon. Thanks, Jacqueline. 
Uh, I might have to send me an email. I'm going to send you the first one for giving me that idea because I think that's a great idea. Um, any more questions? Have I heard about the clearance on the generator issue from the, I have not, I, I do not know what I do recommend. If you're interested in a Thor scope or rise, they do have a Facebook group, which is really good. Um, and then final, uh, two more questions. What's the biggest RV show on the West coast? It was the Pomona RV show, uh, but they recently canceled that f forever. So I don't know. So we got a final question. No, two final questions. What is your most interesting side trips you, you guys made while camping? Oh, that is a good question. Side trip. Like not campground yeah. related. Like you like did a detour or something like that. Yeah. I, I mean, I had to I do some consulting on the side to help companies work with their leadership teams and stuff um and i got to travel from i forget where, where oh, we were in jacksonville and i flew to, back to salt lake city and that was kind of cool honestly like being on a plane after all that time and i hadn't been on one for a while and you know it's just kind of it was it reminded me of what my life used to look like <laughs> yeah so, yeah i feel a lot yeah what's funny is I was in Salt Lake City like three days before you as well. <laughs> it kind of funny. Know, it's like our wavelength. It's so funny. Yep. And then final question of the day, y'all, and then we're going to wrap up the podcast. What was your most favorite place you have visited so far? Michigan. Yeah. Michigan. Really? Tell Michigan. us about it. Oh, okay. man. It, it's like, I know we're not supposed to be telling people that because they don't like it because the secret's going to get out. <laughs> We've heard that multiple times. But it's so beautiful. The air is so clean. Mm -hmm. The water is crystal clear. Um, uh, like like Traverse City. Yeah, and then, and then right. the, um, we both grew up in Indiana, and we never went to Michigan for vacation. So for us, this was brand new. Wow, um, and it's right just, there, too. Yeah, it was amazing. And then I would say, like, one of the more surprising ones uh, it was South Dakota, and you guys South got Dakota to see that too. So good. Yeah. You know, it's like it's Sioux Falls was incredible. I yeah. mean, the food scene there is amazing. The people were yeah. so uh, just beautiful. The whole Falls Park area was really cool. But then you go through all this flat land, and then all of a sudden these mountains are rising out of nowhere, and then you get into Rapid City, and it's just beautiful. Places that I think we'll look forward to as well: Oregon yeah. and Idaho, which yeah. we have not mm -hmm. been to. Yep. Okay, okay, I. I, I, I can't wait to see your um, vlogs for Idaho because I'm not trying to be rude. I don't think there's a lot there. So I, I have, we have a lot of like friends that have moved there, like friends of friends that have moved there and like they're is it like yeah. going on. It looks similar to Montana, oh, yeah. but I, I can't wait to see it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody, if you haven't realized this is Sean and Christina from Pause for Love down in the description below, we do have a link to their channel. And we're going to wrap up the vlog with a couple of pictures that I took when I had the 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 honor, the privilege of babysitting um, Nash. And here's just <laughs> some pictures of Yuna and Nash. Uh, that's they Nash taking Yuna's oh. toy. Um, we got up oh, this picture <laughs> of Yuna and Nash watching. Sean and Christina Look on at my face in that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got this good. picture of the two of the two lovers yeah. together. And then this is us Aww. three sitting on the sofa. Look at Yuna's head like resting on Nash's <laughs> butt. Oh snap. No, I lied. We do have one final question. Is Nash going to be receiving a brother anytime soon? Oh, that's a good oh, question. He needs, we need to talk yes. to Grandma Connie. Yes, the answer <laughs> is yes. We are getting him a yeah. brother. Uh, there's, we've got to line it up with our uh, good friend Connie, but we will have one. We're hoping sometime in January, February time frame. Oh, nice. nice. Other nature will tell us. So, yes, you know. and yeah. if everybody can pray for us, we will be raising a puppy in an RV. In an RV. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how dog. much fun. <laughs> yeah. Think about how fun potty training is going to be. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much. Uh, yep. As I say, here we're going now. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Make sure everybody joins us next week. Uh, we will be doing this podcast every week. We will have it soon on the Apple Store. We will have it soon everywhere that podcasts are. But we're only in episode three, and we just came up with the podcast name. So thanks so much, Will. You want to say anything to America? 
yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and jumping on. Um, again, thank you all so much for the well wishes. Jen and I are doing much better. And um, hopefully things will be back to normal soon. Sean or Christina, anything else? Thanks for watching. We, we love, love everybody out there. Yeah, love you guys cool. too. And enjoy, have fun at the Grand Design Rally. And we, yes. everybody, again, make sure you guys subscribe to Sean and Christina's channel right there. Make sure you subscribe to their channel. They're awesome people doing great things and making very entertaining RV content that yeah. isn't all about RVing. It shows a different side as well. So it's a lot of fun stuff. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see.